It's the 12 days of Christmas. Today we add eight $10 gift cards to Benny's Pizza Palace in San Luis Obispo. The best damn Detroit-style pizza west of the Motor City. Benny, how you been, man? Good to see you. I got to ask you a question. I know that you're here to talk about pizza, but I'm here to talk about wings because I've not had your wings yet. Yeah. Which is spicier? So jalapeno buffalo or habanero buffalo? Ooh, what do you think? I think habanero is probably yeah, the habanero is in- okay. insane. Okay, and you know we make those all in house, so we roast. The so habanero. you make your yeah. sauces. Well, we have a standard buffalo that people love mm-hmm. that we get, you know, from the guys, and uh, then we add the habanero for the habanero. We roast it, grind it up, add it, and then for the uh, jalapeno, we do the same. Wow! Yeah, oh. it's excellent. And then of course we have the Korean buffalo. Mm-hmm. Or sorry, the Korean uh, like spicy. That's yeah, just like the Korean barbecue yeah. type that type of flavor, which is which is necessary. Yeah, and then there's like some secret off menu stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I should expose that right now. But no, you absolutely should. Oh, like, what, okay. Yeah. I mean, like if people are listening to this, no, uh, you know, someone can put some pesto on there, maybe pesto wings. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the guy baking them doesn't, but, doesn't enjoy it. I'm definitely not going to I do had it. Parmesan. I mean, it's I had, an acquired taste, right? I yeah. had these garlic Parmesan wings and pesto's like garlic. And I tell you, it was actually mind-blowing. It was really good. I was like, wow. Yeah. Not something I would have normally ordered, but somebody ordered a, you know, a few baskets. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try one. And I was like, wow, actually, I would order this again. This is pretty good. It's amazing some of the sauces you can put on wings. And wings I mean, it's, are used to be like a throwaway thing, and it was cheap at the bar. And now wings are becoming like an entree. Like it's... They're expensive, too. I mean, the price of chicken yeah. has gone up, and the wings are so popular. Maybe it's B-dubs, but they've become such a popular item now that it it's like stands out on a menu. It has to. Yeah, definitely. And we get ours locally, and they're huge. They're massive. That's, so. And that's the key. Like, Jeremy mentioned that place. The problem with that place is sometimes you're like, this is a wing? You're like, dude, come on. I mean, like, you guys, this is, you guys do one thing and you can't get the best of the, uh, of the one thing. Whereas you go to a place like Benny's and they're like, they're getting their wings and they're like fatties and you're like, okay, well, this is like, this is more, this is the chicken that I'm looking for. <laughs> Plus, there was that whole story about that chain restaurant. I don't know. You hear about this? There's an NFL football player used to be a tight end for the, uh, Oakland Raiders. At the time, he was the tight end for the Oakland Raiders. They were the Oakland Raiders, and um, he went to. He was just. He was. He went to that place, and then he was eating and not looking at the wings. They got chicken head. <laughs> <laughs> what? And he bit into it, and he's like, Ugh. And he looked down his eye, looking at him. So you know. I don't know, you know, some, some, I'm guessing that's not going to happen at Benny's. It's very treasured in some cultures. Yes, I know, (laughs) but not when, (laughs) not when you're just sitting down to have some, some wings and watch a football game. Come on. Yeah. Not at, not at Benny's. You're going to get delicious, juicy, huge chicken wings. And And that's not what you're known for, but we're, but we're sitting here talking about it. Well, yeah, you know, like, like it's all the stuff that I like, you know, so I love wings and slow didn't have any good wings. So I, I had to bring it. Yeah, no one else was, and they didn't have Detroit style pizza, so you brought that, and you've gotten good success from that as well. Yeah, and uh, but what's your favorite pizza on your menu? Ooh, so uh, our uh, our kitchen manager Franco is like a genius back there, right? So we do a pizza of the month, mm-hmm. and uh, this started off as a pizza of the month, but it's it's called the Baca, and it's chicken, pesto base, chicken, uh, sun dried tomatoes, garlic, and then it's got. Um, Ricotta, dollops of ricotta on the Ooh. top. And it, 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 it's such a good mixture of flavor. Like, I recommend it. People get it, and then it's their favorite. So I'm liking that one right now. I've always, um, I love the pizzas, uh, and it's a different kind of pizza to get the Detroit style pizza with the caramelized cheese and everything. But for me, it's always been your sauce. Your sauce is the best pizza sauce I've ever had. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's my secret. So no one knows it. I make it. So, yeah. how many ingredients would you would go into this sauce? Different ingredients. If you give yeah, me a know, number, I don't know. <laughs> eleven. 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 Okay. I'll, 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 yeah. The, the, the colonel taught me something. So eleven herbs and spices. There you go. I got I got I, I look at all the different variations of Detroit style pizzas that you do, and I got to think like the bacaw is one of them. That in Detroit they would find that sacrilege. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't see Detroit as a foodie town. Like they're probably straight up traditional. Uh, you know. 
like, hey, you know, it's got Italian sausage and pepperoni and, and that. I don't know why I'm talking like a New Yorker because I'm talking like a Detroit. <laughs> Um, but you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. Like, you know, they, they probably mushrooms, onions and all that stuff. And you know, and that's how I started. If, if we remember that, you know, I only had X amount of toppings and you know, you, yeah, it was very strict because I wanted to be a purist, but I remember when you got jalapenos uh, and I'm like, Hey, it was a big deal. I want, I want some jalapenos. Cause I just loved, you know, your, uh, with the pineapple, Canadian bacon or pepperoni, it was, I think it was pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapenos is what I ended up was one of my oh, favorites yeah. that I used to get. Oh, yeah. uh, we got Benny here from Benny's Pizza the, the, Palace. The pepe pina? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, well, I, it didn't have a name back then. I mean, we were just ordering it out of the kitchen over there and uh, before he had the restaurant. Yeah, Social Club, you guys do a lot of stuff. You have people that come in, do live music. Um, you, you started doing lunch shortly after you opened. You've got specials. Talk about which days you do lunch and what specials you guys have. So we do lunch uh, Wednesday through Sunday in our lunch specials. Um, $7 for a slice and soda, $12 for a slice salad and soda, and $15 for a slice salad and beer. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And, those are, and that's, and that's uh, every day we're open for lunch. So we're open Wednesday through Sunday from 1130 to uh, uh, 10 or 11 o'clock at night, depending if it's a weekend or not. And we open late on Monday, Tuesdays. You give the staff a little bit of break. Yeah. Uh, so we don't do the lunch specials those days, but we do them uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And uh, the slices are huge, by the way. So, you know, if you think, oh, it's one slice. Yeah. No. Huge. Get that with a soda. A lot of high school kids come in and they love that. Um, or just get a little salad with it for a few more bucks. So it's real quick, you know, uh, in and out. Well, I know a lot of people need, uh, you know, they only have half, half an hour, 45 minutes, yeah. right? And Oh my gosh! You go anywhere now. You you can't spend less than twenty bucks on lunch. That's true. It's insane. It's true. And and you're talking about for like things like salads and stuff and and a basic burger. Yeah, no, and so I mean, like twelve dollars for a slice yeah. of salad and like an yeah. iced tea or a soda. That's that's pretty darn good. Um, just so we know, um, you said the high school kids like to come in. Uh, what is their lunch window and what is your lunch window? So we open at 1130 because mm-hmm. we want to get the, the the working people in there, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the high school, I think, takes a late lunch. Like They, they roll in like 1245. Okay. So uh, unless you're, you know... Really that, pushing your lunch. That eleven thirty to twelve thirty sweet spot is what I'm aiming for. Yes. That's okay. It. Okay. That's perfect. Good to know. Because yeah. man, teenagers can eat. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out. out Benny's online. It's Benny's Pizza Palace and Social Club. Go to Benny's PPSC dot com. Uh, we got a link over on our Facebook page. Thanks for being a part of the twelve days of Christmas and kicking down. We got eighty dollars to go to Benny's if you win this year.